Are you struggling to build an effective skincare routine to tackle annoying texture and bumpy comedones? They can be a real nuisance, but with the right routine, you can tackle them head on. I'm going to help you build one. Before we get started, let's just remind ourselves what exactly we're dealing with. The action happens in our skin pores, so they're kind of a tunnel and the surface of the skin is where we're seeing the action. Now, the traffic through the tunnel are the dead skin cells and the oil, and when things flow smoothly, they come up to the surface and we don't even really see them. We're not aware of what's happening in our pores. However, when a blockage forms at the top of the tunnel, so tr think of it as traffic and congestion, then pressure backs up behind it, and that pushes the blockage up to the surface causing those annoying bumps. So that's a simple explanation for something that's actually quite complex and requires a multitasking approach with our skincare routine to really solve the problem. So the first don't when it comes to cleansing with closed comedones is skip on devices. You need nothing rougher than your fingertips to cleanse your skin. Friction can cause irritation and that can trigger closed comedones. Next, I would suggest that you skip oils and balms. These are inherently congesting. And I honestly think that I started to see the rise in the epidemic of adult acne around the time that double cleansing became fashionable. You do not need to double cleanse to effectively clean your skin. My advice is to use a single effective cleanse when you have comedones. Now, some of the products I recommend in clinic are the following. So I like La Roche-Posay Tolerian Domo Cleanser, which is excellent for extremely sensitive skin that's also prone to congestion. For those on a budget, I like CeraVe's Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. And for everyone else, I recommend Dr. Sam's Flawless Cleanser. Now, focusing in on the morning routine, the next step is activation, where we bring in active ingredients that help us solve the problem. I like to use the morning slot in our routine to help eliminate the existing clogged pores that you have right now. Nighttime is for prevention of future clogging. The best ingredients for this, in my view, are salicylic acid, and I recommend one to two percent. It's a beta hydroxy acid, it's oil soluble, and it helps it get into the oily pore to dissolve those clogged up dead skin cells, freeing up the pore so that the oil can run smoothly to the surface of the skin. I also recommend azelaic acid, which works well in tandem with salicylic acid because of its anti-inflammatory properties, and it helps reduce the tendency for the skin to clog up. You might also want to add in some niacinamide, which is an excellent ingredient for those who are clog prone on the one hand, but also dry and sensitive because it helps with both sensitivity by boosting ceramides in the skin and it helps tackle those clogs. So products you can use to get those ingredients. Firstly, I think of those on a budget who might want to layer more affordable serums to get the combination of salicylic acid and azelaic acid. And The Ordinary with its 2% salicylic acid solution and its 10% azelaic acid serum are good ones to try. Next, you could consider Polish Choice, their azelaic acid booster, which contains 10% azelaic acid, and 0.5% salicylic acid, and also some licorice extract, which is good for pigmentation. Finally, Flawless Neutralizing Gel contains a combination of 5% azelaic acid with a strong 2% salicylic acid that's really gonna help bust those comedones in combination with 0.5% Bacuchiol or plant retinol as it's otherwise known, which again is great for clearing pores and also helping settle any inflammatory blemishes that you have as well as those comedones. It's also got squalene, which is super gentle and can help reduce the tendency for those dry marks after using those actives. The next step is moisturizer, which is something that often inspires fear in those who are prone to texture and closed comedones. The good news is you don't have to be scared. There are lots of well-formulated moisturizers on the market now that are specifically designed to support clog-prone skin on that active journey that's so essential for solving the problem. Now, 
This is a great way to build niacinamide into your routine as many moisturizers now actually contain niacinamide. It penetrates well and it doesn't tend to antagonize any other active ingredients that you might be using to tackle closed comedone. So good ones to try include La Roche-Posay's Tolerian Sensitive, which also contains dimethicone and squalene, or indeed Flawless Moisturizer, which is a little richer, but also contains that crucial 5% niacinamide. Like moisturizer, you might be tempted to skip sunscreen as thinking it's another layer, and oftentimes people have had the experience of getting congested and breaking out with sunscreen. But again, we don't need to be afraid with the right formula. What's crucial is that UV rays themselves can actually promote comedones. And additionally, if you're prone to acne and post-acne marks, you might find those marks darkening with exposure to UVA rays. So you do want to build in sunscreen, rain or shine. I'm fond of La Roche-Posay and Thelios Invisible Fluid, which is SPF 50 and a chemical sunscreen which is great for oily skin. And I'm also fond of Eucerin's Sun Fluid Sensitive Mattifying Fluid for the face, which is also SPF 50 and good for oily skin. For those who are prone to pigmentation or who want a great product for underneath makeup, Flawless Daily Sunscreen SPF 50 is fantastic, both in terms of texture, but also because of that 5% niacinamide that again helps combat the tendency for clogging. That's your daytime routine sorted. Now, nighttime isn't vastly different. I believe you can use the same cleanser and the same moisturizer, which creates a very efficient routine, but the focus should be on clog prevention. Um, so what we call primary comedolysis, which literally means to prevent and eliminate comedones from forming at the root cause. Now, the best category of ingredients for this is, you guessed it, retinoids. Because they tackle the tendency of the traffic, those clog-prone cells to clump together, allowing them to fall away and exfoliate naturally the way skin does and the rest of our body so that you don't get clogged up. Of course, we cleanse first to remove pollution, dirt, makeup, and sunscreen from the daytime. We carefully rinse, we use nothing rougher than our fingertips, and we pat our skin gently dry, so no friction, all right? Then it comes to the retinoid, and it really depends on where you are with your skincare routine. If you're starting out, there's a slightly different approach to somebody who's already established on retinoids, but isn't perhaps getting the result that they want to. All retinoids will have the tendency to prevent comedones from forming in the first place. If you're starting out on your retinoid journey, then a good one to try, especially if you're on a budget, is the Inky List Retinol Serum, which contains a blend of low strength retinol with low strength granactive retinoid 0.5%. This is a great way of dipping your toe in the water. Remember the journey is a long one ahead so there is no rush to start something strong that will potentially upset your skin barrier. If you're a little bit further on in your retinoid journey then a good one to try, I'm going to try and get the name right, is Avenz Hyaluron Multi-Intensive <laughs> Multi Active Night Cream. I think B3 is in there somewhere as well. And this is basically a combination of 0.1% retinaldehyde with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Now, I think of this as being a great alternative to the crystal retinol range from Medicaid, and it's about the same strength as a crystal retinol 10. What I think is interesting is that Aven was one of the very first brands to ever use retinaldehyde in their products. I just don't think they marketed it as well as other brands have done more recently, but they are really established in terms of the retinaldehyde space. So it's a good one to look out for. I think the price point is more favorable. For those looking for something stronger again, but are not quite ready for the prescription retinoid space, then Flawless Nightly Pro is excellent with 5% Granactive Retinoid in combination with Niacinamide and Bacuchiol. So it's excellent for those who are perhaps trying to tackle the signs of aging alongside tackling closed comedones. That's an effective routine structure for anybody tackling texture right now. But remember, the journey that you're starting today may be different to the one in three months time, depending on how things progress. There's always room to escalate in terms of the potency of the ingredients that I've recommended. And you should keep going. 
until you've either reached the threshold where your barrier says no more, or you've gotten the desired results. You've got that control. You're not seeing new comedones creep up every week. If you're struggling, again, it's important to say that within the clinic space, we do have access to different types of products with prescription skincare and potentially interventions like cautery, which can help open up those closed comedones if topicals are not doing the trick. And sometimes you'll need oral treatments in combination because you're also getting acne blemishes. So remember that what you try first doesn't have to be the end of the story. It doesn't mean that you're stuck with a problem if it's not solving it for you. I hope that's given you the confidence to build a closed comedone skincare routine. If you'd like to know more about closed comedones, where they come from, how your hormones might affect them, what lifestyle measures to take, do check out my video on the 10 things I want you to know on closed comedones. They're clearly having a moment, they're clearly bothering a lot of you, and I want you to get a handle on how best to eliminate them. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.